Hey guys, happy Labor Day to everybody. I hope you are having a great weekend and enjoying Labor Day. Um, hopefully some people will start joining. I know you're probably all with family and friends, so you might not see this live, but um, it'll stay out on my wall, so maybe some people will see it a little bit later. But today I am going to prep some salad in a jar um, salads for me for this week and so I thought I would let you guys see how easy it is um, to pre-prep some salads and have them ready for the week if you are doing them in either mason jars or I'm going to be using our um, pampered chef salad in a jar which is made of um, BPA free plastic I'm going to use these but you can also use glass mason jars if you wanted although these are a little bit better because if you drop it it's plastic it doesn't break um, I'm going to do two different versions of a salad while I'm still recording. Hey Jackie, hey Lisa, hey Heather, how are you guys doing? Thank you for joining me. Um, and basically I'm just going to let you guys see me prep most of this stuff. Um, and the primary tools I'm going to use, quick slice. This is going to be used a ton. Um, I've already grilled our chicken, so let me talk about our grill pan and press for a second. It's hot. Um, but what I did, this is just a package, I don't know if I can multitask and hold this. Um, this is a package of chicken tenders that I seasoned with our garlic and herb rub. And I just grilled them on my stove top for about three or four minutes on each side. And then I'm going to use the salad choppers to um, chop the chicken up. So that's going to be our protein that's going to go in our salads. If you don't have this grill pan, this is the single burner version, and then we also have a double burner grill pan where two of the presses will fit in it. This is my most used piece of cookware ever. I use it for not only chicken, but you can do panini sandwiches. You can do um, vegetables. I'll do a lot of zucchini, squash, asparagus. Um, hey guys, thanks for joining. Hey Janice. Hey Tanya. Um, but anyway, I'll use it for veggies, chicken. If it starts raining and we were going to grill steaks or burgers, I can bring them inside. Um, panini sandwiches. You can do pancakes in the grill pan. I personally have not tried those yet, but fellow consultants have told me about it. So just lots and lots of great uses for it. I'm going to just take our grilled chicken tenders out of the grill pan into the stainless bowl. Let me put my grill pan away. Um, and I know that I, most all of you, if you're watching, you have heard me talk about our salad choppers. These are a must have in every kitchen. If you don't have at least one set, you need to get a set. Um, they are only $28.50, they're lifetime warranty. Um, dishwasher safe, so you can stick them in the dishwasher. Hold on one second, let me close this door. Yes, I have the entire neighborhood in my basement right now, so it's a little bit loud, and that was distracting me. Anyway, these are great for salad. However, I'm actually not using them on any of my ingredients for the salad in the jar. I'm using it on our chicken. So this is just one package of our boneless, skinless chicken tenders grilled. I don't know if y'all can see. I like to hold mine like this. Some people will hold them like this. It's whatever works best for you. But then, in no time, I have my little red thing's getting stuck. In no time, I have chopped up chicken for my salad. So that ingredient is going to be ready to go. My salad choppers can go in the dishwasher. Then they're ready to go the next time I need them. Again, you need at least one set, if not more. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining me. I see Donna and Charity. Um, Ashley Weaver, hey, um, I'm glad y'all can join me on this Labor Day. Um, all right, so we've got our protein that's ready for our salad in the jar. I do have our lettuce in our salad and berry spinner. I've actually already spun it out a little, but I'll spin it out a little more for you. And I'm choosing to use um, some romaine lettuce and some spinach. So I just put both in here, rinsed it because this is the bowl, the colander, rinsed it underwater, but I still need to spin it out and get the rest of the water out because if you leave your lettuce wet, 
when you're making a salad, even if you're eating it right away, all of your dressing is going to go to the bottom of the bowl, or in this case, it's not going to stick when I dump it out of the bowl. Um, so when you're having a salad, spin out and dry your lettuce completely so that you're not wasting salad dressing. So this is our salad and berry spinner. I'm using the salad bowl. You unlock the handle very much like the manual food processor, and then this little black button is a break. So once I get it spinning, then to stop it, I'll just push that button. When it first came out years ago, we were told that it will spin, I believe it's 13 miles an hour. How fun is that? Hey Lisa, what did you just say? I love my salad choppers. <laughs> Edward Scissorhand. Yes, I agree. Hey Jackie, how are you doing? Okay, so you're just going to let the handle go up and down and then stop the brake, use the brake to stop it. I have my cutting board sitting on the flexible um, on the stackable cooling rack. So if this were on my countertop, it'd be a little more stable, but I need it to be up so you guys can see it. But then Stop the break. I usually do it, you know, three or four times just to really make sure it spins out all the water. Okay, now let's just check and see if we got any water. Okay, so here's all the water it got out. Now, when I rinsed this, I rinsed it under the sink just like this, not in this bowl. So this is excess water that just came out from spinning it. We probably can get a little more. Let me dump that out. Let's see if we get any more. Sounds like it's gonna take off when it's spinning. Can y'all hear it? Okay, so now our lettuce is probably good. Yeah, we did get a little bit more, not a whole lot more liquid, but there was a little bit more. But now it's good and dry, so it will be ready to go in my salad in a jar in just a minute. Right. So we've got our protein ready, we've got our lettuce ready. In this case, I'm doing spinach and romaine. And I apologize for, I'm going to set stuff out of the way as we go, because I have tons on the counter. Um, okay, the two types of salads that I'm going to make. I'm going to do one that is more of a berry salad. So I bought blueberries. That These I actually spun out in the berry basket to the salad um, spinner. So I already spun them out, just put them in a little prep bowl. Then we're going to do some strawberries. And I put these in our mesh colander. This is the smallest of the three mesh colanders. If you don't have these, these are another must-have. Um, the other day, if any of y'all watched when I was making garbage dip, I used these um, to drain the tomatoes and the banana peppers. Love, love my mesh colanders. If I'm doing tacos or spaghetti, I also use them to drain the ground beef because the mesh is small enough that the beef doesn't go through, um, but it's also raised on the bottom so my liquid can still come out. Um, I capture all the grease into a um, container that they recycle here in Alabaster, so I can catch all that grease um, real easy but not losing any meat. Hey guys for joining us. Thanks Christy, Cynthia, Kai. How are y'all doing? Alright, so for our strawberries, we're going to use the quick slice and pretty much everything else I'm prepping, we're using the quick slice for it. Um, I'm actually just going to cut the tops of the strawberries off. We could use our core and more on this. I couldn't locate mine when I was trying to get ready. So we're just going to cut the very tops of our strawberries off. And we'll do several at a time. By the way, these strawberries were really good. And it's not really even strawberry season. But my daughter saw them sitting out. And she's like, ooh, can I have one? And then she and I both ate several. I had to stop us because I needed some for our salad. So... Um, Publix had some really good strawberries today. All right, so here's what you're going to do. We should be able to fit several. We're going to do them face down like this. Several at a time. These are kind of large strawberries, so we're going to try doing four. And then you simply push down, and now I have perfectly sliced strawberries to go in my salad. So I'm going to do a few more. 
I like a lot of strawberries. Let's do one more really nice big strawberry. Then I might eat the rest that are over here while we're assembling this. All right, so four strawberries sliced, or really eight strawberries sliced, super, super quick. So look how perfect those are. If you're gonna make um, a strawberry shortcake dessert, that would be a great way to slice the strawberries for strawberry shortcake, a strawberry trifle, um, any kind of dessert you're using strawberries. This is really, really quick. I have gotten a couple people to ask me the difference between using this and the egg slicer. I think my egg slicer's here. Yeah. Okay, so here's my egg slicer. The main difference is this isn't as sturdy and this won't do as many things as I can do with the quick slice. This is really great for doing your hard boiled eggs, kiwis, bananas, and strawberries. But then your quick slice, you can do all those things. Um, you can also do more at a time. I got four strawberries on here, whereas the egg slicer, I really would only be able to do like one or two. Um, hey, Mackenzie. Would you like a strawberry? Yeah, she just came to get more strawberries. Don't eat them all, please. Um, <clears throat> she was eavesdropping from the other side of the room. Um, anyway, I could do more strawberries on here at one time, so I do like it for the fact it's more versatile. I also am going to do a cucumber in a minute, and right now we're going to do little Roma tomatoes because our second salad we're doing is going to be a veggie base. So it's going to have tomatoes, cucumbers, olives, um, and some feta cheese. So we're going to have, you know, the two different variations so that I don't get bored this week eating my salads. Um, with the Roma tomatoes, you just want to put it on your cutting board to start. We're going to do it this way. You're going to push down and then push into the base. I've got it above so it's hard for me to get leverage. Okay, so now I have perfect little rounds with my tomatoes, but I want these diced for my salad. So I'm going to do some little stacks of tomatoes, throwing away the ends because I don't want the ends. So now I have them stacked on here, and I'm going to push down again. And now I have diced tomatoes. Really, really easy to dice up my tomatoes. So can you all see that? Hey, Wendy Victor. Hey, Lee. How are you all? All right, so let's do... One more. I brought. I bought um, three, but I really think I only need two. So we'll do one more. Which one do I want to do? Let's do this one. All right. So just push down once on your cutting board, pick it up, and push down into the quick slice itself. The quick slice is only thirty-four dollars, and the time that this is saving. You know what I really should do is a contest. Like I should have these same ingredients have my husband sitting beside me trying to slice all his up with a knife, which if you were going to do that, five inch Santuca knife will be the one to use. But I can assure you it would take him much longer than it's taking me to get these ingredients prepped for our salads. So, um, you know, this is such a time saver. Let me get a paper towel real quick. I do have a little bit of tomato juice up here that I want to wipe off. So how's everybody doing? What are y'all doing today for Labor Day? Is anyone doing anything fun? Are you cooking out with anyone? We're going over later this afternoon to some friend's house to grill out. Um, and I made, guess what I made to take? She told me to bring dip. So can anyone guess what dip I made? I'll wait a second because it delays. Um, I made two dips actually, so you could guess twice. Both have been live videos. Hey Heather, oh you're grilling out and resting at home. Yeah, I was kind of lazy yesterday. Friday night we went to Tuscaloosa to watch the Thompson Varsity football game and my daughter in the um, band. Thompson won, yay. Um, although there were tons of penalties, it was a crazy game. So we didn't get home from that till late. Saturday we went to Auburn cheer on the Tigers. Still love my Tigers despite losing to number two in the country, but our defense showed up. Offense, not so much. Um, didn't get home from that game till like 1 a.m. So yesterday, pretty much vegged. Today, not so much. I've been busy getting ready. 
um, for the week. I'm going to go grill with some friends. So, all right, what is everyone else doing? Jackie, I saw that you just got home from the beach and you weren't driving. How did your daughter do? Obviously, if you made it home, she did well, so that's a little scary. Wendy, you're just laying on the couch. That's not such a bad idea. Yes, Jackie, you are correct. Garbage dip was one of the um, dips that I made. The other is fresh guacamole. Um, after I prep this, the other thing, if I have time that I'm going to show you, I also told my friend that I would bring over homemade barbecue sauce. So I'm going to show you a quick, quick barbecue recipe using our smoky barbecue rub. That just depends how long this takes and if y'all are getting bored. She did very well. Yay. I'm proud. That is awesome. Okay, so we need some cucumber for our veggie-based um, salad. So I'm going to, I sliced it in half in half again and then we're going to slice these in half one more time because I kind of want um, chopped cucumbers. I don't know if I can do these both at the same time. Mm, probably not. Let's do one at a time. All right, so same as the tomatoes. You get it started. Push down into your base. Um, so y'all get the idea of this veggie, I mean this quick slice. It is the absolute bomb. Um, another thing not going in my salads, but I do have, these are some bell peppers from our garden that when I'm done um, getting our salads ready, these are our little bell peppers from our garden. There are three, six, eight of them. I'm never going to use eight bell peppers quick enough before they go bad. So I am going to use, actually let me show you. This is live TV, so we're just doing this, you know, spur of the moment. Let me show you how easy the quick slice is to make um, fajita strips with your bell peppers. I don't know where my scoop loop is, otherwise I could use that to get the seed out. But if you don't have a scoop loop, the other trick, cut the top off and then just pull your seed out. Pull your center of your bell pepper. Alright, so all these bell peppers that are over here, this is what I'm going to do after I'm done recording. Seed them, cut them in half, place them one half at a time on my quick slice and then look I have perfect bell peppers for fajitas and I am going to put them in just little Ziploc bags for me to freeze to have for when we need bell pepper for fajitas or if I'm doing a stir fry um, these will be great these were from our own garden so I did not want them going to waste because I'm really proud that we were able to grow so many bell peppers so I'm just going to cut them all up Put them in little bags. Who else has joined us? Hey, Beth. Um, so I'm just going to put them in little Ziploc bags, and then that way they will be frozen, ready to go. All right, so let's finish our cucumber. I think I'm going to have a slice of cucumber. Sorry, guys. Just need a little snack since I'm cutting all this up. So there's the rest of our cucumber. Now again, I'm only going to assemble two um, salads on video and then I'll do the rest afterwards. That's why I'm putting all of my um, little ingredients into bowls so that it'll all be ready to go and separated. All right, last ingredient that I need, some whole olives. Well, actually we're gonna slice them. Do not open with the pop top. Use the can opener. Hey, Sherry, how are you? Oh, who else? Hey, Sarah Knighton. So we're going to use a smooth edge can opener. I bought whole olives instead of pre-sliced because it's cheaper. The large are cheaper than the medium. I have no idea why, but they are. I'm going to use, I want to show you all this can opener here. We'll do it down into the bowl and then I'll have to dump this liquid, but this is our can strainer. If you were doing canned chicken or tuna, you would put it down in the can because that's a wider mouth can, but you put it over top for smaller cans. And then typically I just do this down into my sink, but I want y'all to see how easy that is to drain your can. And then just stick this in the dishwasher. I need to go dump this liquid because this is where I'm gonna put my olives. Um, the other reason I'm using all the little prep bowls for most things Whatever I don't use in my salads, I'm going to put the lids to these prep bowls on it, stick it in the refrigerator. Later in the week, if I want to make additional salads or um, 
you know, if I just want a good snack, I can eat some little cucumber, some um, blueberries, some strawberries, that kind of stuff. So that's why I'm putting them all in the prep bowl. All right, we're still, if y'all have not figured out that you need this quick slice, I don't know how else to convince you you need it. It's $34. Y'all need to go to my website, which is www.pamperedchef.biz, which is B as in boy, I, Z as in zebra, forward slash Sarah McGuire, all one word. Go to my website. Anyone that goes and places an order for a quick slice and anything else before the end of today, I'm going to put you in a drawing for a free popcorn maker. How about that? That would be fun. Hey, Carrie Hall, you should come and watch me like truly live. You could come over to my house and watch me live. Hey, Lori Castleberry. Um, okay, so all we're going to do with the olives is put several on our little quick slice. Got some going off to the edges. That's not going to work as well. All right, so we've got them all in the middle. Stay in the middle. And then just push down. Now guess what I have? I have sliced olives. And I have them for way cheaper than the can of sliced olives. So super, super quick, super easy. can even... Eat one or two along the way if you're an olive fan. Surprised my daughter's not coming down getting some of these too. Maybe she's not listening. She went back up to her room with the strawberries. Guess how many strawberries are going to be left for me? That's going to be a big old zero. She is going to eat them all, I'm pretty sure. All right, I got to take a few of these off. Is everyone having a great day? It's actually beautiful outside. Um, I went for a run this morning, and Chris actually joined me today, and he was like, it's still pretty hot out here. The humidity was nothing like it had been the last couple weeks. So, um, although my run was not great because I'm kind of dealing with a bunch of allergies, so that part was not so great, but it was beautiful. What did you say, Carrie? I know. <laughs> you need to get, yes, it would be perfect for grapes, for toddlers. It's also perfect for hot dogs. For toddlers, you can do it similar to how I did the cucumbers, where you slice the hot dog in half. So instead of it just being circles, they're actually half circles. And you put the hot dog on here. I would do it after you cook it. Don't do it before it's cooked, but because um, that would not really work to cook it after that. But um, it would be great for hot dogs, great for bananas, kiwis, all sorts of things. Let me wipe this up real quick. I've got olive juice all over the place. All right, so... We've got our olives. So we are just about ready to assemble our salads, except for we need some salad dressing. And I am choosing to use our measure, mix, and pour to make, and these recipes, you're not going to be able to see them real well, but these recipes are right on, hey, Heather Reeves, how are you? Matt and Harper. Um, these recipes are real easy. They're just printed right on the measure, mix, and pour. It's got a built-in little whisk to make it. I'm making the Italian vinaigrette, although I'm kind of altering it a little. It calls for balsamic vinegar, olive oil or canola oil, garlic, and then um, teaspoon of salt, dried oregano, onion powder, dried um, basil, a tablespoon of sugar. I'm just going to use our Italian seasoning because that has all those same ingredients. So I'm going to use Italian seasoning. I'm also changing and I'm using our cherry balsamic vinegar so it'll be a little bit different flavor but super easy it's got your measuring marks so I'm going to start with the balsamic vinegar I have one jar that's almost empty let's use that first so we're just going to pour this in I hope everybody's having a great day what'd you say hey Heather um enjoy the weather if you haven't gotten outside it's actually pretty nice although it might be heating up in just a little while, Evan will go to football, so after that, we're going to go grill out with some friends, so um, I figured I'd get lunch for tomorrow. At least for the next couple days, I'll have lunch ready for myself with these salads. All right, so then we need, we filled to the vinegar line. Now we need olive oil or canola oil. I'm using extra light virgin olive oil, so I'll pour until I get to there. There we go. 
We need, it calls for two cloves of pressed garlic. I'm only doing one because this is a garlic clove on steroids. So we're just gonna do one down into here with our garlic press. I'll see all that garlic, where's my knife? That was lots of great fresh garlic. Now I need a fourth a teaspoon of salt, not measuring, just gonna use our new salt grinder. Love the new salt grinder. There's also a pepper one, Himalayan sea salt's what's in there. Then we need, this is what I'm just winging. I need a fourth a teaspoon of each of the following, basil, onion powder, oregano, and then one tablespoon of sugar. So I'm just gonna do probably about a tablespoon. If I can find a tablespoon. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon, well, maybe not quite a tablespoon. Hey Evan, are you ready for football? Uh -huh. Yes, Dad needs to take you. I'm, you're alive. Do you want to come and say hello? Hello. No, you got to come right here. Look, here's my son. Look, I'm being passed up. Not good. I need to stunt his growth. Not really. I don't really want to do that. He will play tomorrow. Thompson, ninth grade freshman. They have um, a home game tomorrow at the stadium at 530. If anyone wants to come watch, he will be kicking for them. Hey, Kathy, you caught it live. Yay. Um, being the mom of a kicker is the most nerve-wracking thing on the planet, but that's okay. I just will keep coloring my hair. All right, we need a tablespoon of sugar, so let me go grab my sugar. Let me wipe this out real quick. All right, so we're going to do one tablespoon of sugar down in there. All right, let's make sure, because it's been forever since, I, okay, sugar, oregano, onion powder, blah, blah, blah. okay, yeah. All right, so now you just put the top on. Oh, look, she left me three strawberries. Oh, she loves me a little bit. Mmm, y'all, these are good. Alabaster Republics, so if you need some. All right, so just put the little, but no, get away from the blueberries, no. All right, so just put the lid on, and you just kind of, Whisk it until it looks to be, stop, I'm serious, move, no, you don't, she just wanted the olives, no, I'm telling you, although I do love that my kids like healthy stuff, what'd you say, Lori, oh, that's right, Lori, because you have made it without the sugar, I forgot, um, so I didn't think to make it without the sugar, do you substitute anything for the sugar, or just do it without, hello, Rebecca, all right, so Lori, does that look like that's good? You're the expert of making salad dressing. All right, so we're going to set that aside. Now, we are ready. <sighs> Heather just said hi, Rebecca. Okay, we are ready to start assembling, because I think that was everything that I was planning to do. You can actually do this two different ways with our jars. You can either put the dressing down in the bottom, or our lids are made two parts, so I could put the dressing up in here, or you could hide a sweet little treat in there like some chocolate chips or um, M&Ms or something for a snack if you're taking this to work. Um, but if you have a regular, I have strawberry in my teeth now. If you have a regular mason jar, you're not going to have the option to do your dressing separate. And you actually don't have to do it separate if you do salad in the jar and assemble it the proper way. So I'm going to go ahead and put my dressing down in it just to show you how you would assemble it if you did not have the separate compartment and how it's easy just to take one thing to work, your salad dressing's in the bottom, when you dump it into a bowl, the dressing goes all over the salad. It is not gonna get my lettuce soggy because I'm going to assemble it the proper way. So let me go get my measuring tool. I really thought I was more prepared than this, but apparently not. It's Monday, it's a holiday, right? Um, all right, so anytime you're having a salad, you want to do about one to two tablespoons worth of dressing. You do not need this entire container of dressing on one salad. So this is actually, we're going to have leftover of this. Um, we're going to have leftover dressing, so I'll just keep it in the refrigerator, and whenever I'm ready to use it, I'll just stir it up a little. And I think I'm going to do 
one of my salads, the one with the veggies I'm going to do with this dressing, my other one I think I'm going to do with Olive Garden dressing because I have some of that in the refrigerator. Then again, I don't know. I might do both of them with this because I'm going to make a couple other salads later. All right, so this is our little e mini Easy Read measuring. Let me taste this make sure it's good. Oh, I'm going to do both with this because this is really good. All right, this is our mini Easy Read measuring cup. It's a four table, I mean, a, um, yeah, four tablespoon, um, two ounce. So we're just doing two tablespoons. That is going to go in first, down into the bottom. I think I will do, which, let's do our veggie um, salad first. All right, so you start with whatever is your heaviest vegetables. What did you say, Kathy? Yes, these are Pampered Chef. They are called Salad in a Jar. I forgot to show you what it comes with. When you order the mason jar, you also get a handy dandy little fork and spoon that comes with it. If you want to eat directly out of your jar, it's pretty deep. So what Pampered Chef did was they designed, if I can get it in there right, they designed the fork and spoon to snap together so it makes it longer so that, I have a gnat in here. It makes it longer so you can get down into your mason jar. The jar and the fork and spoon are dishwasher safe. Um, there's also a little lunch tote that this will fit down in that you can order. So if you go to my website, just search for um, salad jar or um, salad in a jar and you should be able to find all the little um, salad in a jar products. They are BPA free, so no worries with um, putting your salad in here. And you can take it to work, not worry about breaking it since it's plastic, not glass. What did you say, Heather? Um, yes, this will be one salad for me. It is three cup capacity to here, although I'm going to fill it further with my lettuce. But um, it is for one salad, but I will tell you, it is a huge salad. Like if you were to go to um, O'Charlie's, they have a really good California chicken salad. It'll be big, like the full size serving. Um, this will not be a side salad, it, unless you just didn't fill the mason jar. But it makes a really good size salad. Heather, this would be perfect for you to use to take um, to school. Um, I am going to make probably four salads. I'm going to make two of each today. Because they will last, even with the dressing like this, they will last up to a week in your refrigerator. Um, I've tested it. I've done it. Most of the summer I was making these. My biggest weakness is I hate stopping to try to fix something for lunch for myself. There are so many days I won't even end up eating lunch because I'm too lazy to stop and fix something. So if I make this ahead of time, and a lot of times I'll do it on Sundays or even like this on a Monday um, when we get back to school, then that way I can just go in there, grab it, and be ready to go. Yes, this is taking me a little bit of time because I was prepping all this. It is, but then lunch is done for the rest of the week. Or in my case, like Thursday night, I have a party, so this will probably be what I eat before I leave for my party is I'll have one of my salads. Would you say, Heather? Oh, that was your question. And Kathy said, very cool. Okay. Hey, Susie Russell. Okay, so you start with your heaviest vegetables first. So I'm going <laughs> to put in... And I'm using my hands because these are my salads, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put in my cucumber first. Then I'm going to put in, because remember, this is the veggie salad that I'm doing. Then I'm going to put in my tomatoes. You can put however much you want because it's your salad. I'm going to put in my olives because I love olives. Then your protein. You can do chicken. You can do... Um, turkey. You could do hard-boiled eggs. I don't eat eggs. That will never be in my salad. All right. Now I need to do, I just got to make sure these are all my veggies. Get these out of the way. Go back over there. Over there. Over there. Okay. Now I'm going to do my lettuce. And on this part, you want, let me toss it so it's mixed with my, mine's spinach and romaine is what's in here. The rest of this jar is getting filled with my lettuce. So if you want more veggies than that, you can put more. But then we are just stuffing in. 
come back. Stuffing in, oh, wait, 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 we're not, I lied, because I want some cheese in here. See, live TV, you can mess up and keep going. All right, I want some feta cheese in mine, so I'm going to do the cheese. There's still a little bit of lettuce in there, no big deal. Okay, so I'm going to put, oh, didn't open that very well. Chris also bought this feta. This is not the brand I usually buy, but that's okay. If I were doing um, Parmesan, mozzarella, any of those, I would shred my own. I also a lot of times buy the feta that's a block and then crumble it myself, but that's okay. Chris bought it, and I'm thankful that he went to the grocery store because I forgot it. All right, so now we're putting in our lettuce, and I do kind of pack it down in there because, you know, I want it to be a good... Um, size salad. This will be my lunch probably tomorrow. I'll try to remember to take a picture. All right. Now, if you wanted to do in this one, I'm not actually, we could do some croutons. Let me grab some croutons. Wasn't really planning to, but croutons, put those on top, or I could put my croutons in here. Let's do that just to show y'all. So, we're going to put on our lid. Look how pretty my salad is. I just like these garlic and butter croutons. So we'll put some of those down in here in our lid. I might have put too many. Now they're going to be garlic or crouton crumbs. And now my croutons are in the top. Just don't forget that you put something in there. All right, so my salad's going to stay like this in the refrigerator, and the dressing's down on the bottom. It's not going to reach the lettuce. Unless, of course, you turn it upside down, which you're not going to. So just don't let it drop. Hey, Joanne, how are you? Um, it's what? What'd you say, Kathy, for the feta? Yummy. Um, okay, so like with this, the veggies are kind of soaking in the dressing, but that's not a bad thing because then that's just going to add flavor when I dump it out. I personally will dump this into a bowl and I'll eat it in a bowl. So when I dump it out of here, guess what's gonna happen? Lettuce is gonna come out first. Hey, Misty. Lettuce will come out first, my chicken next, my veggies, and it'll be topped off with the dressing. All right, so that's our veggie version. Now let's do our fruit version. Don't make a mess. So that you can see what it's gonna look like with the fruit. And we're gonna start with the dressing again. Let me just mix it up again, because it was sitting. Again, I'm going to do two tablespoons. There we go. Put that down in the bottom. And you can use any kind of dressing. Don't think that you have to make your own. I chose to make my own because I had all the stuff to make it. What would you say, Joanne? I am good, and I'm glad you're loving the videos. I'm going to try to do them about once a week. I don't want to do a whole lot more than that because I don't want to bore you guys. Um, this one's going pretty long because I am um, doing quite a bit, but I wanted you guys to see the concept of doing salad in a jar. What would you say, Rebecca? Oh, add to your Christmas list. All right, I'll get how many mason jars would you like for Christmas, Rebecca? Um, all right, so now we're going to do the um, fruit version. So we're going to start with strawberries because you start with all your heaviest ingredients of stuff first. If I was doing cucumbers, radishes, carrots, all that would go down in here first. We're doing lots of strawberries because Mackenzie's going to come and eat them if I don't. And I'm only needing enough for two more salads, one of each kind. So I'm kind of doing half of everything. All right, we did our blueberries. She also was stealing my blueberries to feed Toothless, which is her bearded dragon. So she keeps coming down here to get them for him. All right, now we're going to do our protein. You want two. Okay. I can handle that. I might forget, but I'll go write it down. All right. Save the rest of that for my other. And then I am going to add feta cheese to this one as well because I love feta. Hey, Misty, what'd you say? I'm, I am hoping to join your team in the next month. Oh, well, come on. It is the best time because it's close to the holidays. They're coming up and people are going to be holiday shopping. All right, so there's our feta cheese. 
And now we're gonna add our salad or our lettuce, whatever. Mine is, again, mine's romaine, lettuce, and spinach. Just kinda put that down in there. And then to this one, instead of croutons, I am adding cranberries and glazed walnuts, just because I like that with this particular salad. So we'll add that in here instead of the top of my jar, just to show you. Because if you had a regular mason jar, you would not be able to put it in the top of the lid. All right, and then we'll put that lid on. And there is my fruit-based salad, and here is my veggie-based. So look how easy that is to do. These are going to be pretty big salads. Hey, Tisha. Hey, Sherry. Um, they are going to be pretty big salads, but they will be really, really good. They will stay fresh in your refrigerator for five to six, five to seven days, kind of depending, um, at least five days. So, you know, if I didn't eat this one until Friday, it would still be good because my dressing's down at the bottom. Um, and I'm just going to dump it out into a bowl. So, hey, Tisha. Okay, so that is all that I have for salad in the jar. I also showed you the bell peppers. The other thing I'm going to show you really quick um, is how to make a real quick, easy, very good homemade barbecue sauce. And let me grab all my stuff for it real quick, and I'll bring it back here um, just so you can see because I'm taking it later this afternoon when we go grill out. So I just wanted to show you guys how to make it since I was making it already. What would you say, Rebecca? No, you can't have it tomorrow. Why do you think I made it? Um, I still have more ingredients to make another one, but I got to go get a mason jar, bring it over here, and I'll make one for you. How about that? Deal? Okay, hang on. Let me get all my stuff for barbecue sauce. I do have it out. I just didn't have it over on the countertop because my counter is full. that have the rock crock or the deep covered baker this is a great quick dinner to have like it tastes very much like full moon barbecue or Jim and Nick's barbecue but to make your own barbecue chicken you know for dinner so just get your um, package of boneless skinless chicken breast put them in your rock crock or your deep covered baker with some of the smoky barbecue rub or smoky applewood rub sprinkle that on the chicken cook the chicken for about 10 to 12 minutes when it comes out, use your salad choppers that we used today. Use those on your chicken, and then you're going to make this barbecue sauce to top it. You can do open face barbecue. You can do it as barbecue sandwiches, barbecue sliders, sometimes for tailgating. I'm the one responsible for bringing barbecue when we pick that as the meal. Um, super easy, very good, um, not real expensive at all. It's ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen, except for maybe the barbecue, smoky barbecue rub. You can order that on my website. What did you say? Are you using your iPad? I'm using, um, Jackie, I'm using my phone and I have a little tripod that is sitting on my counter. So that's what I am using. Okay, so when you make this barbecue sauce, I'm gonna do it in just our sauce pan and I'll just heat it up on the stove top. But you could also actually put everything in just like one of these prep bowls not with strawberries in it, but the prep bowl, put it in the microwave for a couple minutes. Um, I was using so many of my prep bowls for this that I just figure I'll do it on the stove top um, and then I'll just transfer it to a bowl to take to our friend's house. But I'm doubling the recipe. If I was making it just for us, I'd, half, I'd do half of this. The regular recipe is half this. I am doubling it just so that we'll have enough for everybody. But I'm using our um, measure all cup that I love. This is brown sugar that's in here. I have half a cup of brown sugar. The red measurements are for your solids. So what do I mean by solids? Brown sugar, mayonnaise, peanut butter, um, uh, ca not castor oil, um, k syrup, regular syrup, uh, mustard, things like that that you need to measure out. And then the blue side, which is upside down right now, is for liquids. So liquids would go in that side. Let me go get another one and I'll show you what I mean. This is the two cup one I'm using. This is the one cup, but liquids would go down in here. So that would be one cup worth, pour it out. If I needed to do solids, I would do it this way. 
and to dishwash, put it in the dishwasher, it comes completely apart. So, um, and then just put it back together. The way you remember that the liquids point up, I always just think, well, the sky's blue, water's blue, um, so that blue is always for your liquids, and they go down in there. So, all right, so we need, this is half a cup of brown sugar. Oh, I need a scraper. Then we need two cups of ketchup because I'm doubling this. Ordinarily, you'd only do one. So I pull this down till I get to two cups. That is going to be a lot of ketchup, but that's okay. So we're going to see it just stands up, and you're just going to sit here. This might take me a minute to fill it. It doesn't sound very good. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but... So I'm measuring up two cups of ketchup. When I get to the top, that'll be two cups. You might wonder why am I using this instead of like our Easy Read measuring cup? Because now to pour this in here, pour it and kind of push the top and then scrape off and you get all the excess. No ketchup wasted. Imagine if that was sticky peanut butter or sticky um, syrup, you would get all of it out. Oh, honey is another great one to use these for. Honey, put it in there, push it down, scrape all your excess, and you have the right measurement. What'd you say, Tisha? You just use, you use yours all the time. Love, love, love. Hey, Lee, how are you? Okay, yes, Joanne, it is delicious um, barbecue sauce. All right, so then our other two ingredients are um, we need four tablespoons of vinegar. You can use white vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar, whatever you have on hand. I've used both. It doesn't really matter. Um, I need four tablespoons of this because I am doubling the recipe. Otherwise, I'd only need two. But four tablespoons. I was just using our adjustable measuring, um, measuring spoon. And then I need four tablespoons of the rub. So with this, I'm going to use from our, um, these are the snap together measuring tools. I actually might need more than what's in here. So one, two, oh wait, that's only about three. Let me go get my other bottle real quick. Should have started with a new bottle. Okay, so I need one more tablespoon. All right, so four tablespoons. And then you're just going to mix this all together. Um, obviously, since I did it in a piece of cookware, I'm going to put it on the stove top and just heat it through. You don't have to cook it real long. You're basically just heating up the ketchup, but that will be our barbecue sauce for um, the barbecue that we're doing today. So... I hope that this is, yeah, Kathy, you can use the um, measure all cup for honey. Like if you're measuring out honey, fit, put it to whatever measurement, push down, get all your honey into um, whatever it is you're cooking. We use that a lot for some of the freezer meals. Um, okay, so I hope that this has all been helpful for you. I know there aren't tons and tons of people. Hey, Vicki. Um, tons of people that joined today because it is a holiday. But this will stay on my... Um, Facebook page, so if you want to tell any friends to go, um, you know, see this, it was really mainly to show you how easy it is to do these really good salads. I mean, I'm ready for lunch tomorrow already, um, so it's not a difficult concept, um, and I just love having lunch already ready. That way I'll actually eat instead of, um, you know, ignoring the fact that it's lunchtime and I haven't eaten. Would you say, Heather? You want some of the jars. Um, the jars are, yes, I should know right off the top of my head, but I don't. Let's see. Let's just find it in the new catalog. If y'all haven't seen the new catalog that came out September 1st, oh, you need to. Let's see where they're located in here. I don't even know that information because we've only been using the catalog for five days. Um, hold tight. I will get that information, Heather. Mm -hmm -hmm. Here's the kids' stuff. Look 
how cute. What'd you say, Rebecca? Oh, I'm looking it up. I'm looking up how much the jars are. Hold on. This is live TV. Mm. They're probably on the last page. Because they certainly are not at the beginning. Oh, yeah. Here they are. Okay. So, you actually kind of have several choices because there's different sets. Um, so just the sap, just the mason jar and it comes with the um, spoon and fork is $16. It is dishwasher safe. You can also get a mason jar carrier, which I don't have mine with me. I'm carrying my salt and pepper grinder um, set in it, but there's a little, this, I'll show you, this little guy is a little um, insulated carrier that the mason jar fits in. That's $8. And then this little snack jar, I do have that sitting out here. I did. Mm. Oh, here it is. The little snack jar, like if you wanted to do a little yogurt parfait in there, you could. Um, that is $5.50. Or you can get the whole set. So you can get the insulated tote, the mason jar, and the little snack jar for $44.50. Um, you really would not need the whole set for making multiple salads. You would really, if you just got one whole set, then you would have the lunch tote. And then you could buy some separate mason jars um, that would come with fork and spoon. You could buy those so that you can make for the whole week. Um, the thing that I love is the fact that it's plastic, so I don't have to worry about it dropping. If it falls out of the refrigerator, it's not going to break. Um, if you're taking it to work, you won't have to worry about it breaking at work and you not having lunch. Um, they're dishwasher safe, so they're easy to clean. They are a very wide mouth, so that was very easy for me to fill if you're watching me fill it. And then if you do want to keep your topping separate or your dressing separate, there's a separate compartment. So, um, yes, Heather, I can um, mail you, Heather Lucas, I can mail you a catalog. Private message me your address just to make sure I have it. I know I have it in my contacts, but I always like to make sure um, that it's accurate. Thanks, Vicki. I knew they'd be at the end. Um, <laughs> yeah, of course I started at the beginning and they're at the end. Yeah, this catalog's only been out five days officially, so I haven't gotten as familiar with where everything is. Um, not to mention, I've learned in my 10 years, there's no reason to memorize where everything is because it changes. Um, every six months and my brain is just um, you know I've had three kids so I don't remember tons of stuff so Heather okay yes Heather you can just text me and let me know um, love 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 the mason jars though I really am enjoying them and love the salad in a jar concept I've actually done a couple salad in a jar parties um, and we would do just what we did here everybody would prep some ingredients and everybody brings one jar with them. Now that we carry mason jars, really it would be great if people ordered one ahead of time and they filled their own. Um, but it's just something fun. It's a great way to eat healthy, um, great way to pre-prep stuff and um, you can make your salad however you want. All right, this has been probably my longest video, but I hope you guys have had fun. Um, I, you know, I was going to be in my kitchen anyway, so why not put it out there for you guys to join me? Um, now I am going to um, just kind of veg for a little while till Evan's done with football, and then we are going to go grill out with our friends and have some fresh barbecue sauce and the garbage dip and the guacamole that's in my refrigerator. I will scroll back through and make sure I answered everybody's questions. Um, feel free to share the videos with your friends at any point. I'll also go ahead and post my website in the comments in case anyone needs to order anything or if any of y'all want to host a party because there's tons of things you need. Um, I think I may have one more date for September, but I have started filling my October. So definitely let me know if you want to get on my calendar. I will bring everything for whatever recipe we fix. We could do mile high nachos. We could do, there's a good um, Mexican quinoa that I just tried the other night with my family. We could do... Um, fajitas as always any fun recipe we could do with your friends and you could get lots of free all right i will see everybody later have a great rest of the fourth of july in the fourth of july hello um labor day and have a wonderful week 
Um, if y'all have questions, just let me know, and I do hope you enjoy the videos.